Shalom, shalom. In today's Legends from the Zohar, we're going to learn the secret of bread. And we're going to find this in Book 21, Pincus B. And the second part of this is going to be regarding Ra'ayah Mahemna, again, the faithful shepherd, conveniently left out of the Pritzker edition. All right, so the synopsis. Rabbi Shimon says that anyone who throws bread on the ground will be assured of poverty, for only God has dominion over the five kinds of grain. So it says, Why the tenth part of an ephah by Midbar 28.5? He answers, the tenth part of, of an ephah parallels the congregation of Israel, which is the tenth grade, namely Malkut. And it has to be placed between the two arms, which are Chesed and Gavur of Zerampin, so that it should be made up of Chokmah to the left and Chasadim to the right. And then... It is fine flour for the baking of bread, and it is bread. And because Malkuth is the secret of bread, no official in the world is appointed over bread made of five kinds of grain that are wheat, barley, rye, oats, and spelt. And no one is appointed over them but the Holy One, blessed be He alone. And therefore poverty follows anyone who shows contempt to bread and throws it on the ground. And an angel that is appointed over this matter follows after him to assure him poverty. And he will not depart from this world until he has been in need of assistance from others. And it is written, About such a one, he wanders abroad for bread, saying, Where is it? Job 15.23 Meaning of which is that he shall wander abroad, going from place to place in his search for bread. Where is it? And no one will have any regard for him as it is written. Where is it? Where is the one who will have mercy on him? For such a one will not be found. A synopsis. Moses leads the discussion into the foolishness of those who treat lightly the crumbs of the Torah. The secrets in the crowns of the letters. As these unwise people will perish, so will those who transmit secrets of the Torah and Kabbalah to people who are dishonest or who have an in evil inclination. Again, I am Hemna. And in the first part, the faithful shepherd said, Whoever treats lightly crumbs of bread and throws them where they should not be, and even more so, one who treats lightly pieces of marrow that are drops of seed and throws them on the ground, it is said about them, For all flesh had corrupted its way upon the earth, Bedeshit 6.12. Or he throws them to a menstruating woman, or the daughter of an idolater, or a bondwoman, or a prostitute. And much more so, one who treats lightly the crumbs of the bread of the Torah, which are the secrets that are in the tips of the letters and the crowns of the letters. About these it is said, he that makes worldly use of the crown shall perish, meaning he who takes the secret of the crowns lightly. And how much more so whoever transmits secrets of the Torah and the secrets of the Kabbalah and the secrets of the works of creation or secrets of the letters of the explicit name to people who are unworthy, who are in the control of the evil inclination, a harlot, about whom it is written, for by means of a harlot a man is brought to a piece of bread. Mishalai 6.26 And whenever bread is mentioned, the meaning is the 22 letters of the Torah. And whenever peace is mentioned, the meaning is even a single halakha. And in the first part, he revealed the secrets of these crumbs, only according to the literal meaning, nor did he determine the amounts. But the sages of the Mishnah taught, the amount of the crumbs is not less than the size of an olive. And how much more so if they are of a quantity the size of an egg, for the sages of the Mishnah were stringent about them. How much should one eat to have to say the blessing after the meal? An olive's size, an egg's size. The implications go without saying. Now we have learned that bread is the 22 letters.
So with that being said, this concludes the secret of bread from the I am Ahemna and Pincus B. Shalom Selah.